We're proposing a number of changes to improve the plumbing requirements for the next edition of the NCC. These changes relate to existing water services, sanitary plumbing and drainage provisions. They are based on industry feedback and research undertaken or commissioned by the ABCB. These changes aim to make the NCC easier to use by providing flexibility and compliance, improving clarity and aligning the requirements with relevant standards. These proposals stem from the ABCB's plumbing research projects. They've been developed with our peak plumbing advisory committee, the Plumbing Code Committee, or PCC. We also consulted with technical reference groups, or TRGs, academic institutions, industry stakeholders and consultants to develop these proposed changes. In terms of the detail, these changes include a new verification method for cold water service velocity, updated cross-connection control provisions, enhanced rainwater storage provisions, improved verification methods for sanitary plumbing pipe sizing, and clarified performance requirements. We'll now look at each change in more depth. Firstly, we're proposing a new verification method for cold water service velocity, B1V1. This will provide practitioners with an alternative method to demonstrate compliance with B1P2 for cold water service velocity. Next, we propose to replace the current specification 41, cross connection hazards, with a new deemed to satisfy or DTS provision in part B5. This is essentially a relocation, although proposed changes also include some clarifications for hazard scenarios. Next up are proposals to improve the rainwater provisions. Clause B5D6 in cross connection control will be amended to place the hazard protection ratings for various tanks in that provision rather than referring to the 2018 edition of AS NZS 3500 Part 1. The existing provisions in Part B6 and Part B7 relating to rainwater storage will be clarified and enhanced. There will also be new DTS provisions in Part B7 that provide a compliance solution for existing performance requirements for rainwater storage overflow control, tank access, tank isolation and contamination protection. These proposed amendments address potential hazards associated with rainwater storage and refer to provisions contained in AS NZS 3500 Part 1. We're also proposing changes to sanitary pipe sizing verification methods. Some of our research indicated the current sanitary plumbing pipe sizing verification methods may not be producing the intended level of performance. In response, we're proposing to replace existing verification methods C1V1 to C1V5 with improved verification methods C1V1 and C1V2 for the next edition of the NCC. Finally, we're proposing improvements to how some of the performance requirements are expressed. Several existing performance requirements are phrased in a way that can be unclear for some practitioners. We're proposing to improve the wording for the next edition of the NCC to clarify the requirements. The proposed changes are expected to bring overall benefits to practitioners and users of plumbing systems. They offer alternative compliance pathways without increasing the stringency of the existing provisions. Overall, this will benefit the plumbing industry by providing flexibility in demonstrating compliance and improving the usability of the NCC. If you'd like to provide feedback on this proposed change, visit our dedicated PCD page, abcb.gov.au forward slash PCD. Here you'll find links to the draft changes for volumes 1, 2 and 3 and the housing provisions. You'll also find links to support materials and technical documents to help you understand the proposed changes. Finally, this page has a link to our consultation page where you can have your say. The public consultation is open from 1st May to 1st July 2024. We look forward to your input.